Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. But our very own Kristen Aguirre is out and about in the tri-state area. She's braving the rain, but she's inside now. Channeling her interactor at the Quincy Community Theater. What's going on, Kristen? Good morning. That's why we are live here. One of my favorite spots in Quincy, the Quincy Community Theater. And it's sad to say, guys, but summer is almost over for all you students and fall in the new school year is just around the corner. But one of the happy things is that fall brings some new classes here at the theater. So what are some of the things we have going on here when uh, the new season starts? We have a whole bunch of theater classes that we're offering for as young as kindergarten all the way up through adults. So we like to say it's never too late to take an acting class. Uh, so we have classes for K through three, four through six, seven through nine, uh, high school and adults. And the thing to keep in mind is that taking an acting class, it's impossible to fail. So if we look right up here, what we say to our students in the very first day in this room, it is impossible to fail. Go ahead, try it. So that's giving uh, the students permission to get out there and just try anything. Why? Because of the next sign, <laughs> we owe it to our audience to explore every idea. So that's some of the stuff you and I will talk about today as we're talking about these fall classes. And we're going to give you a sneak peek at home at some of the classes that you can see here. But I mean, I loved how you touched on that, that anyone can try these active classes at any age. That's right. No experience necessary. It's not even if, oh, I want to be on Broadway someday. Sometimes it's just, I want to give it a try, or maybe I want to be in a school play or do community theater. So it's just a great thing to help with life skills as well. All right. Well, we're, like I said earlier, we're going to give you a sneak peek at some of these classes. And coming up a little bit later in the show, I'm going to take the stage and get bit by the acting bug. Oh, goodness. Well, Good luck on that. I, I'm like, <laughs> sign me up. We, my high school did not have plays. KHQA's Kristen Aguirre is out and about in Quincy. She is at the Quincy Community Theater taking on the stage this morning. What's going on, Chris? Well, we are taking to the stage here at the Quincy Community Theater, and we are previewing some of their fall classes they have upcoming, and there is something for every age here. Cheerio, Kristen. Ooh, Love yes, the I, top to, hat. I have to talk in an English <laughs> accent now. The yes, host. please do. Uh, <laughs> yes, every age is young as kindergarten going into third grade. Now, something we teach here is that acting is just a form of storytelling, but we use our voice and our body. And any time we're on stage, our body needs to be communicating some kind of message that's contributing to the story being told. So at an early age, we try to get them comfortable using their body. So we're going to play a little game right now, you and I, where we strike a pose of some kind, any pose in the world, and then we'll see what character comes out of that. So go ahead, just strike a pose right now, and I'll do it with you. Any pose. Any pose, yeah, okay. Like, <clears throat> All right, now let's bring it to life and see what kind of character comes out of this. So I'm going to take mine, and maybe I think of myself as like the strong man. <clears throat> and see what, what character inspires you from that pose. I think I feel it. I was thinking of like... Ah, like Karate Kid? Nice. Karate Kid? Whoa. Yes, yes, yes. That's the idea. And so it's fun to then see all the different things we can come up with. Again, remember, it's impossible to fail when it comes to theater. We're just trying different things out. Woo, well, that takes the pressure off me because I would have thought that was a fail. Well, we're going to continue to show you all of the things that you can check out here this upcoming fall season at the Quincy Community Theater. Now, if you have any questions or any comments about some of these classes, make sure you tweet me out. Let me know if you've taken a class here and what you've thought about it. And we'll have some more uh, showing you some more of these classes coming up a little bit later in the show. I like the top hat. I know. It's a very fun activity. Even look at the Quincy Community Theater. Maybe dancing in the rain, doing something on stage. That's Queen Kristen to you, Melissa and Brooke. We are live here at the Quincy Community Theater, and we are talking all about its upcoming fall classes. And I know I can't believe that summer's almost over and fall is here, but you can look forward to some of the amazing classes they have here at the Quincy Community Theater. So early we showed everyone kind of some of a warm-up exercise that you do with some of the younger kids, but now what are we showing them? All right. Well, as we get older, Your Majesty, um, <laughs> it's important that we understand what we're saying. So right now on the board, we have what's called just an open scene. It's just two lines. I need you just a minute. Let's try it. I'll be A, U, B, B. I need you. Just a minute. All right. So right now, it's not about anything. It doesn't mean anything. So we take the five W questions, which we have here on the board. Who, what, where, when, why. We have to figure out what's going on in the scene. So who can we say the characters are? Uh, Co-workers. Co Co-workers. Co-workers. All right. So uh, where are they? Grocery store. Grocery store. Okay. What are they doing there? Cleaning up. Cleaning up. Okay. Why does person A say, I need you? 
she's cleaning something up and her bag broke. Her bag broke, okay. And why does person B say just a minute? What's person B doing right now? He's cleaning up and his bag broke. Okay, so now we know what the scene's about. So now that gives us something to act. And maybe we'll give it a try a little bit later. Oh, okay. And, you know, when we were looking over this a little bit earlier, too, we were noticing that these are kind of the same questions that journalists use when they're on the scene of something. It's kind of getting the basic down before you can go into detail. Absolutely. Adding the detail, that's the important thing. We need to know what the story is about. Otherwise, we're just up there saying lines. Remember, acting is storytelling, using our voice and our body. We want to make sure that we're communicating the strongest story possible. All right. Well, these are some of the classes, the tips that you can get in one of the classes for maybe some of the older ones. We're going to continue to show you what you can check out if you send your child or even even if you want to come take a class here at the Quincy Community Theater. Now, Melissa, Brooke, would you guys be interested in taking some of the classes? But don't forget, when I get back to the station, call me Queen Kristen. Uh, Bring the crown, girl. Very Bring interested crown. in the classes. She will have to share the crown or leave it there. <laughs> well, Kristen Aguirre is across town at the Quincy Community Theater trying to act, get the acting bug this morning. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, taking on the stage. What's going on? That's right, I'm live here at the Quincy Community Theater. We are talking about their upcoming fall class. This all morning, we kind of giving you a little preview of what you could expect if you or your child comes here. And now we're talking about Broadway. <laughs> so what are we going to be talking about right now? Besides the epitome of style and fashion, I mean, because we all look great. Now, these are props. It doesn't look like your hat quite fits you. No, it's <laughs> showcasing these wonderful uh, Dumbo-like ears of mine. But Aww. we said earlier how acting is storytelling, using your voice voice in your body and how your body can communicate a story. Well, something we think about, too, is in musical theater, you dance your emotions. Uh, you're dancing the story as well. So we have a former QCT student right over here, Mindy Holthouse. Um, she has been our choreographer for several years for our student musicals, and she is teaching a movement class called Broadway Bound. So here's Mindy. No, I, de I, de I definitely think that I should take part because I have no, I feel like I have no coordination. So what do you tell your students when you're you're first teaching them a dance. I, well, that's the exciting thing about this class is not everyone um, can take dance, you know, from the time that they're little. It's a, it's a big commitment and it's expensive, and so not everybody has that experience. And so um, it's a great class for people who don't have that experience but still really want to be a part of musical theater. And so it can kind of teach them some basics of musical theater, um, dance, and things like that when they don't haven't had the experience. Now, what age group is your class for? Um, it is fourth through sixth grade. Mm -hmm. So it's kind seventh of seventh grade, actually. So it's kind of in that, that middle age. So maybe they didn't take dance, like you said, their whole lives, but they still want to take part in everything. Exactly, exactly. And it gives them some real, like, um, some good footing to get into a musical and be able to kind of understand some of just the basic steps that we do and um, just different things about different types of musicals and things like that. Awesome. Well, we are going to give you a sneak peek of what you can expect in that class. And coming up a little bit later in the show, Mindy's going to show me a few steps, and then we're going to get our... Anna Gary is live at the Quincy Community Theater this morning. Yeah, she says she's harnessing her inner actress with some classes over there. Yeah. You doing, Kristen? Good morning. That's right. We are live here at the Quincy Community Theater, and we are previewing some of its fall classes. Now, earlier we showed you some of the classes, but now we are showing you one about Broadway. So with me now is Mindy Holhouse, and you are teaching that class. And um, so what are we going to be learning? Um, well, the class is going to take us through... Um, some different numbers from some popular musicals, and we're just going to kind of learn about how um, different dance steps that go with different types of musicals, depending on the era that it came out or the characters that are performing the dance. Um, and so, yeah. And I, when you see the people on stage, they make it look so easy that you know they're dancing and they're acting at the same time. But is it is it difficult? Well, I would like to say that that means that there's a good choreographer, that they're, they're making it look like it's easy and that, and that it flows. But I would say that it is, I mean, it can be difficult, especially if you don't have that background. Okay, so let's put me through a little quick boot camp here. So what will I be learning? Okay. Well, one of the things that we're going to talk about is, the, is um, from the musical Chorus Line, which is oh. all about a chorus. And the, the important thing about uh, a, a dance chorus is that they all look alike, that nobody stands out. And so we're going to be doing some kicks. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's okay, do it. Okay, okay. So you're gonna, we're going to start out, and we're going we're gonna to point and point. And then we're going to lift it up a little bit higher. 
and point. And now you want to have a straight leg and you want to point your foot. Okay. I didn't so, do any stretching. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the important thing, though, is that, like, if the audience was looking at us, that you and I would look exactly the same. Our movements would be exactly the same. So that's important to think about when you're doing it. Now, do we have to link arms or anything? Should yes, we link arms? Yes, we, okay. we would link like this and so we would go point, point, kick. All right. Well, I'm going to continue to work on my chorus line here. Clearly, I need some more help. So for more information on all these classes, make sure you check out our website, Connect Tri State Study, who's out at the Quincy Community Theater harnessing her inner actress. Yes, she is previewing its upcoming fall classes. What's going on? That's right. We have been previewing some of the fall classes that are upcoming here at the Quincy Community Theater. Now, if you're interested in taking some of these classes, all you have to do is check out our website, connecttristates.com. We'll go ahead and link you to them. But why would you encourage people who maybe have a little bit of an inkling when they're watching this, and maybe they caught the acting bug, to come out and try some of your classes? Well, I guess I'd go back to the sign we talked about in our first segment. In this room, it is impossible to fail. Go ahead. Try it. So that's giving students permission a as young as kindergarten through adult, come out here and explore the storytelling. And so we want to encourage people that they can do anything in service of the story. So no one is going to judge them and think, who are you? And you shouldn't be doing this. You know, um, and the fun of community theaters, you never know who you're going to see on that stage. I always think it's kind of fun, like, oh, I know that guy. That's my neighbor or that's my mailman. You know, things like that. It's community theater. So it's seeing this group of people working together as a team. So theater is a great way of making new friendships and just exploring what's inside yourself. I mean, do you know a lot about that process? Because you actually have, you are a student that's turned choreographer here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I've also done, you know, a lot of shows on stage and everything from being a kid even to being an adult. So um, it, it is one of those things. You go out to have fun in a class and you end up getting more and more involved and, and you learn more. And like I think Brandon has said and I said, it just it helps kids and adults in just so many areas of their life as far as being confident, um, being able to talk in front of a group of people, um, and being able to express your emotions. I mean, so many different areas that it affects, not just being an actor on a stage. Now, really quickly, uh, if you do take these classes, there's also, we have an audition process coming up. Yes, um, our next student show is The Wind in the Willows, based on this classic book. Maybe people have seen the Disney cartoon or read the book about Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Mr. Toad and Mole and Rat and Badger. It's a very, very funny story with a lot of heart, too. And we have auditions for grades 3 through 12, 12th grade, uh, coming up at the end of August. So we would encourage kids to take an acting class to get them ready for the audition, but no experience is necessary. You can still audition for the show, and that information is on, on our website. Now, are there any queens in that? that we'll add maybe? one just for a, a KHQA reporter. Perfect. Well, for more details on all of this, make sure you check out our website, connecttristates.com. KHQ reporter, that can that can be all of us. I don't know. She, she's got the crown. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with her there. She's